the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello and welcome to the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. And folks, you can feel the fierceness, the intensity of this series setting the tone prior to game three. Tonight we'll see the Oklahoma City Thunder playing against the Suns in Phoenix. And guys, for the Suns, they lost game two in a close one. Sometimes a random bounce can make the difference, but they're looking to take matters into their own hands tonight. Well, after losing the first two games on the road, the alarm bells starting to sound. Would you agree, Kenny, that this is a crucial game for them if they're going to battle back in the series? Yeah, some guys play tonight, and this crowd has got to give them a big burst of adrenaline. You know, if you listen to everybody, The enchanting sunset over the desert of Phoenix. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Game 3 of this Western Conference First Round Series. We're 2-0 so far, and we'll see if the home court advantage holds sway. This is Kevin Harlan with great headline reporter tonight is Doris Burke. You look at Phoenix. They need the boost here from the hometown fans. Trail It is critical for them to start to edge back into this series. And guys, losing this one would be devastating. For all intents and purposes, this game is a must win. You really have to treat it like a game seven. Exactly. Back on their home court, it's their chance to change the momentum in the series. But you're right, you can't go down three games to none and expect to come back and win a series. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. Durant, the three, and Ibaka, the four. Westbrook the point with Waiters at the two, and it's Cantor in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now here's Waiters. He's guarded close. Right side, Westbrook to the wing, right side. Down to five on the shot clock. Shots good by Waiters. How in the world did they let him get that wide open? And it's Phoenix's ball. They look to start a new streak after losing on Monday. And nothing to be ashamed about in, in that the game. Ball. It was a great effort, I thought, all around. They just needed to have one or two breaks go their way. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you know, both teams, I thought, played well enough to win the ball game. And yet it doesn't work out that way. There are no ties. So, unfortunately, they were the ones who came up short. That's just run of the mill for him. A typical day at the office. He's one of the more skilled offensive players out there. Let's send it out to Doris Burke, who caught up with head coach Billy Donovan. Doris? With a two games to none lead in this series, he wants his team to remain focused on the business at hand. He said it's a terrific position they put themselves in, and they're determined to make the most of it. We'll see how they fare with game three underway now, guys. All right, Doris. And the shot is good. Bucket's got his first two points of the night. Really nice way to get your first bucket of the day. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. Wudzo dishes to Freak. And they get it. The basket drops and gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. How about that move? You'll see very few players able to pull off. Just sensational stuff. 
Thunder have gone three of five shooting the ball so far. And Waiters kicks to Durant. A rim rattling two handed jam. I tell you what, you gotta love his aggressiveness finishing inside like that. Well, his leaping ability, Clark, gives him a great advantage. And, and that's why they look to get him the ball around the rim. It's either a dunk or free throws every time. Now, here's Warren. Dishes to Freak. Shot clock at six. Warren kicks to Len. Here's Cruz. Got it. And he's now three for five from the field. I like the way he's not forcing anything, taking advantage of what the defense is giving. He's been a key contributor for them in this sport. And Waiters kicks to Durant. Ibaka outside. Out left to the wing. Oklahoma City moving it around. All alone. Cannot hit. And Phoenix will come the other way. Three on three. Here's Cruz. Land soft on the front of the rim and drops. Freak's got 10. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of it. Cancer with a screen on Bloodsaw. Westbrook, no good. And with room like that off the pick, you have got to knock that one down. Well, you know, they did everything right, Greg. They executed. All you want is a good look at the basket. Sometimes the shots just don't fall. This switch has definitely been flipped to on this quarter, guys. Now here's Waiters, covered by Cruz. Waiters passes to Durant. They set the pick. No one near Westbrook as he lets it go. That's good, and a nice assist from Durant. And he came off that screen, and the D just didn't get over the top of it. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge Greg, and when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. A uh, big group substitution here for Phoenix. Tyson. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. Trailing by four. Cruz, he's in at the point. Tyler Hansborough out there with Warren, and it's Chandler, and it's Booker in at the two. He's out there for Phoenix. Really on the right play defensively. If you can't block, force him to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup, give him a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. And both free throws good for Waiters. The Sun shooting impressively throughout at 62%. Here's Cruz, and a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. Free throw good. Free. And both free throws good from Freak. Thunder trailing by four. Right side, Westbrook. Phoenix grabs the miss. Freak with it. Chandler outside. The dish to Booker. Out to the wing. Warren kicks to Freak. Six on the shot clock. And he gets it to go. Freak's got four this quarter. Kevin, he's definitely making his presence felt here in the first half. He's been very effective so far. Adam. And Chandler sends it back. Expanding his range, and it's freak missing. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. That's it, and the Suns' lead is cut down to just four points in the bucket from Westbrook. And it's Phoenix's ball. Westbrook with the steal. And now Westbrook pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Thunder was superb. He dropped a cool 33 points, and that scoring outburst set a new season high for him in what was a great exhibition on his part. A truly dominating game for him in what was hopefully a sign of things to come. At least that's how the franchise is thinking, guys. Thanks, Doris, for revisiting what was an astounding performance. Yeah, that's, that's certainly one that we'll be talking about here for a long time. I say it would make it to his greatest hit spot, no doubt about it.
Now here's Hansborough after Dion Waiters miss to the wing on the left. And there's the feed to Freak. Passes it to Booker. Just five on the clock. Freak kicks to Hansborough. Here's Chandler. Hits some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. Chandler's got his third basket of the night right there. All right, Phoenix, keep it going for your Suns dancers. Now let's bring up the 2K leaderboard to get a glimpse of the regular season's assistant. Russell Westbrook, number one. Some changes for Phoenix. Len comes in for Chandler. And Mirza Toledovic subbed in for Hansbrook. And Oklahoma City with a change here, too. Cantor's checked in. Westbrook dishes that's to Cantor. Good. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. You know, that's been a big part of their offense in the early stages. I mean, their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range right at the rim. And Clark, they might as well keep doing it. I mean, attack the basket until the defense makes an adjustment. Eric Bledsoe is checked in for free. And so it's a close. Well, Russell. And now, your son's dancers. And we're set to get started again for the next bit of action in this game three. You look at Freak in this game, he has been everywhere. Played like a man on fire in that first half. I, I got to say, his performance has come out of the blue and at the most opportune time for his team. And Greg, on occasion, the smaller names show up when the stakes are at their highest, and that's certainly been the case with him. Well, we've got a moment. Let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade all fueled up for the second half. So the Thunder Five right now. On the perimeter, it's Waiters and Durant. Inside, you've got Ibaka and Canna. And it's Westbrook in at the one spot. Here is Durant. After Eric Bloodsoe's score, the shot by Westbrook. And Oklahoma City again with the bucket. That's their third straight make off an assist. <laughs> Great ball movement. Waiters against Bloodsoe. He feeds it to Freak. From deep three-point range, the shot no good. And the Thunder going the other way now. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And, guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part, a huge component of winning games. It's not a glamour stat, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. Here's Waiters after the Suns pick up two. It's Durant with the drive, and he uses the glass on the way up. Durant's got the lead up to seven now for Oklahoma City. They're doing work here in the second half. Three or four to start. Here's Bledsoe. One kick kicks to Freak. Let's it go with a three. Shot number 12 goes in. He's made seven of 12 now. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Here's Waiters. He's got seven. Abaka, wide open, he fires. Off target from outside. Suns trail by four. Here's Cruz. And that's a foul. Called on T.J. Warren. That's his third foul of the game. And the Suns making a change here. Chandler's checked in. And then for Oklahoma City. McGarry's checked in for Ennis Cantor. And it's Payne in for Russell Westbrook. With the shot. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Suns have gone three or five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Such a strong finisher on the fast break. And Greg, I love the fact he's always in control, even though he's going at breakneck speed. He still maintains his body control. Now here's Durant from past the arc. That drops, and that's now seven points for Serge Ibaka. Yeah, it's such a sweet three-point stroke there and it can really open things up inside because as good as he shoots it it forces the opposing bigs to have to step out on the perimeter back at you i mean they immediately get those three points back trading spray guns from long range trading blows from behind the arc now here's Payne. pass to mcgill 
Soft touch off the glass. And the Thunder lead by four. Well, they certainly didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Yeah, and, and that's important because this game may ultimately come down to which team controls the paint in crunch time. Tremendous output for Bledsoe. Different look. Chris Anderson has checked in for Chandler. Hansborough comes in for Charlie Villanueva. T.J. Warren, he's checked in for Eric Bledsoe. And Freak subbed in for Aaron Brooks. Ennis Canner's checked in for the Thunder. Westbrook comes in for Kevin Durant. Now here's Henderson. He's tightly guarded, and he can't extend the lead to double digits. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. Right wing. Warren, the pass to Hansbro. Phoenix, no good that time either. And offensively, a great show for the fans through the first three quarters. It's been a fun game. And welcome back to the NBA playoffs as we get ready to continue with this round one matchup. Suns trail by eight. Cruz in at point guard. Warren is out there with Mirza Toledovich. Then it's Alex Len, and it's Booker in at the two guard. Fox is out there for Phoenix. The only place for shots like that are in shoot around. Exactly. I mean, that shot is one he shouldn't even think about taking. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Freak dishes to Toledovich. And a wide open look for Freak. The rebound by Ibaka. Ibaka's got four rebounds now tonight. Feeds it to Westbrook. Henderson kicks to Ibaka. It's a nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Six to shoot. And stolen by Booker. The pass to Cruz. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Thunder. Defensively, they play with a lot of energy, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. Another factor here tonight has been the amount of points they've scored off turnovers. Eric Bledsoe's checked in for Phoenix. And Oklahoma City also making a switch. Kevin Durant's checked in for Gerald Henderson. Here's Westbrook. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. It goes on Eric Bledsoe. What a game it's been for Westbrook. He has 14 points, and the assist numbers are tremendous. His court vision is on par with anybody. I mean, he could not pass the ball any better than he is right now. He has such terrific form and consistency on his free throw. Beautiful to watch. To the inside, Len, and he goes in for the dunk. And he just leaves the D in the dust and, and explodes to the basket. You're right. Uh, uh, Clark, maybe a momentum changer right there, huh? It could be, Kevin. I mean, a dunk like that can sometimes get an opponent reeling. And oh, here we go. Warren's got it. The fast break chance. And it's freak missing. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. really battling in that area of the game and let's help them stake this lead yeah easy call yeah you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are and the second free throw good here is game moves along two minutes gone here in the fourth it's stolen by Ibaka and now Westbrook pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Those are the kinds of plays that win you games. I mean, really savvy D. And give him credit for looking to go straight up court with it. No hesitation. And that could be the KO right there. There's the pick. Bloodso with it. It's Ibaka picking him up. Here's Cruz. Offensive rebound. Here's Len. Excellent D from Cancer. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. And Ibaka kicks to Westbrook. 
Ibaka sets the pick for Westbrook. Back to Ibaka, and he slams it one-handed. Tell you what, he can do a lot more damage to that rim than that when he wants to. And you know, Clark, with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Me too. Well, well I'll tell you what, I'm glad he didn't, because otherwise we'd probably have a 45-minute delay here if he shattered the backboard. Suns trail by 11. Ludzo passes to Cruz. And it's Dion Waiters with the foul. That's foul number two for him. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think he got it right. I mean, the defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. You can see the frustration in the quarter on his face, especially with his team trailer. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. Um, it seems to me uh, they've gone after this win a little bit more. Ludzo is just a freak. And that time, also a missed shot. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Some good play tonight for Waiters. Nine points. And he The 2K Sports Pregame Show. Welcome to NBA Playoff Basketball on 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson. Got Kenny the Jet Smith. Got Shaquille O'Neal. Time to get ready for this crucial game four of the opening round. In this game, we'll see the Oklahoma City Thunder against the Phoenix Suns. Well, for the Suns, a withering loss in game three. They'll have to play much better tonight. We'll see if they can steady themselves and get it done. And after losing the first three games of the series, certainly not the position they'd hope to find themselves in as we approach game four, needless to say, uh, now looking for a win simply to stave off elimination. So what's the mindset, Jet? Man, this is where your pride's got to kick in. Are you kidding me? You cannot get swept. And this is it, game four of the Western Conference quarterfinals. We're looking at what could be a very short series. This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. Doris Burke will be reporting from the sidelines. If you look at the Suns, they're facing elimination, and the fans in this building know that this could be their last game of the year without a tremendous effort. Yeah, let's not kid ourselves. Things aren't looking bleak right now. There's no doubt about that, but... The home fans are behind it. They've just got to focus on winning this game and then take it from there. Point well made, Greg. That's why it's so important for them to get off to a quick start in this game. Get these fans lathered up and into it to prevent any kind of doom and gloom atmosphere setting. You've got Ibaka and Kenner. That's broke the point with Waiters at the two. And it's Durant in at the three, the small forward. 
Here's Waiters. Drops in the breakaway layup. Waiters got his first bucket of the night. Bloodsoe outside. Move the ball. Stick it too much. We play just over a minute here in the first. Toledovic. Good. Waiters with the ball. Outside Durant. There's a good screen. Westbrook wide open. He fires. Again, the Thunder scores. Excellent vision by Durant out there. What a nice pass. Bloodsoe with it. Westbrook picks him up. Another three for Phoenix. They really can't allow him too many open looks like that. I mean, that's just inviting trouble. The Thunder have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. There's a screen by Cantor. And Waiters kicks to Cantor. Right side Durant. Abaka. Wide open. He fires. The fadeaway. And it comes off the front of the rim. Phoenix has gone three or three from deep. Nine points rung up from outside here in the first. Ludzo against Westbrook. Waiters gets a wide open look. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Ludzo off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Lights out here, right out of the gate. Perfect 4-4 from the floor. Right side, Westbrook. No good. So Phoenix will take it the other way. They come off a real tough loss on Wednesday. And hard to say whether it was the game plan defensively that let them down or just the inability to really bring the fire on that side of the ball. And, guys, it was a bit befuddling to me as to why they stuck with it. I mean, they dug themselves a hole and couldn't find the tweaks they needed to get out of it. And so here is Oklahoma City following the score by Phoenix. Boy, from my angle, it looked like it was in the bottom of the net. Looked good from here. Yeah, I'm about as shocked as you are, Clark. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Phoenix. Guys, they are dialed in from beyond right now. Phoenix leading by five. Cruz in a two guard. Anderson is out there with Tyler Hansbrough. Then there's Bledsoe. And it's Booker in at the small four. So that's the Suns' five as we get into the second quarter. And Doris Burke has something for us. Hey, Doris. Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Thunder, boy, was he tremendous. He finished with 22 points and was on the mark from deep, draining several threes. This game might have acted as a coming out party for him in the NBA, a truly dominating performance. Let's see, Kevin. All right, thank you as always, Doris. And another special game from a player that we know is incredibly capable for this team. Yeah, and he proved his value again in that last game. I mean, he's a cog in their machine, no doubt. Yeah, and they're going to need a few other players to lend a bigger hand today. I mean, they can't expect him to carry the entire load two games in a row. And those are two teammates right there working in rhythm. One setting the screen and the other using it to get that separation. And it's good. Anderson's got the lead back up to five now for the Suns. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Dime dropping delights is what I call it. Uh, yeah, it's a nice pass. I will give you that one. Yeah, he's on the money. It's no doubt. And it's Deion Waiters with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Yeah, and, and I, I like this call because you want the refs in that situation. If there's any doubt, err on the side of giving the benefit of the doubt to the offensive player. That should have been a block, and it works. The Suns making a change here. Chandler's checked in. And, and I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Definitely saved the layup with that foul, and he'll make him earn him from the line, and that's what you want to see. Mirza Toledovic has checked in for Phoenix. And Waiters kicks to Ibaka. There's Westbrook. No good. In and out. Off the rim. The defense there got away with a major lapse. And that'll be Oklahoma City's ball as it goes out of bounds. 
And this man. gives us a chance to look at the point guards who had the most success from the floor in the regular season. Fifth on the list, Freak. Some remarkable shooters in that group. I mean, you know that when you're seeing those types of numbers at the point guard position, you're talking about some very intelligent and patient players. In addition to being unbelievably gifted shooters, I mean, these guys have some of the smoothest, sweetest strokes in the NBA, which means they have some of the best strokes in the world. Now here's Payne, covered by Cruz. Good! Payne's got his second bucket tonight. Suns leading by four. The feed now to Freak. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Now that's a killer crossover. The defender got totally shook up by that move. Thunder have gone 50% from a four in the second quarter, three of six. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Payne can't hit. I I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Well, guys, they need to do something to reduce this deficit. Uh, we'll see if that's the answer. Screen by Ibaka. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. He hit a three in the first but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. Bloodsoe outside. Chandler with a screen for Bloodsoe. Stolen by Waiters. Here's Westbrook. Oh, oh wow. wow. That's, a, that's a beautiful jam. And, and guys, that's a big swing right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning it into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out to be. And guys, in a game this snug, moments like that are the ones we usually look back on at the end as a difference maker. And that last replay for us. And we're through the first half of basketball here in what's been a good one. Suns lead by three. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris. Well, Kevin, obviously a very close game. What has been your approach tonight? Well, we're just trying to pack the paint. Those... Welcome back to game four as we get ready to start things up again. Well, Westbrook has been great. He's got 17 points, and he's chalked up one three-pointer on the day as well. And, Clark, I'm sure that won't be the last one. A lot of times, he can get hot and stay hot from beyond. So the Thunder Five right now. On the perimeter, it's Waiters and Durant. Inside, you've got Ibaka and Cannon. And it's Westbrook in at the one. Shots good by Bledsoe. He presents a defender with a serious challenge. Always. Now here's Waiters. He feeds it to Durant. He's made two of three from the strike tonight. That's good from Durant. Durant hits them both. That's a familiar sight. He hardly ever wastes his chances at the line. Cashes in regularly. There's Bledsoe. He has seven. There's a good screen. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. Bledsoe's got nine. Nice move and finish. I think solid on the one hand throw down there. You know, Clark, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Yep. Yeah, and one reason why. I just don't know that I've ever seen him miss a play like that. And it's freak missing. Thunder trailing by three. Westbrook kicks to Waiters. It's Durant on the wing. A baseline J and a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. 
For Oklahoma City, they have shot 75% at the stripe, 6 of 8. Durant hits them both. Check out the game for Durant. He's got eight points, and he's hit six shots from the charity strike, contributing to their offense. And, and you know what? When he's had the opportunity, he's been in attack mode, and, and that's what led to those points at the line. And now around two minutes gone by in this half, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Clark, third quarter here, and five lead changes so far. Yeah, it's really been a bit of a tug of war. Back and forth we go. And guys, neither team has been able to pull away. Ludzo passes to Toledovich. Pocket six, 13 feet away. Phoenix, no good that time either. The Thunder with the lead. Durant dishes to Westbrook. Back to Durant. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. That's 12 points for Kevin Durant. Really just a tremendous day for him. And if you remember, he was just as good in their last game. Bledsoe the kicks ball. to Freak. Hangs home the trifecta. Freak's got the game tied up here for Phoenix. Thunder have gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. And now Freak has an update from the sidelines. Well, over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Billy Donovan said to the team. He said their plan was run their offense through Kevin Durant. Coach said the first thing they should be thinking about is getting the ball in his hands and letting him lead the way on each and every possession. Those are likely not the last adjustments they make today, guys. There's still time left in this one. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, Doris. Right around three minutes into the second half. They get it back. Ibaka, no one. Phoenix has gone 5 and 9 when they put up the three point shot tonight. Here's Booker. Here's Bledsoe. Sinks that one from the post. Bledsoe's got 11 points. He's played an important role in their offense today, guys. Without him, they may not be in the lead. Kane kicks to Ibaka. There's a screen by Cantor. Pass to Durant. Buries the long range jumper. Durant's got 13 points here in the second half alone. And he's shaking off that slow start, giving them a boost here in the second. Cruz, the pass to Anderson, stolen by Cantor. Durant kicks to Payne. Abaka sets the pick for Payne. Back to Durant. Shot clock at five. Dishes it to Abaka. Fires at the elbow. Again, Ibaka missing. Good pick, but he, he just couldn't make it count. Yeah, nice job of setting the screen by his teammate there. And I'm sure he appreciated it. Anderson dishes to Bloodsoe. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. Bloodsoe's got eight here in the quarter. And he's caught fire this quarter yet to miss a shot. There's a screen by Cantor. And Durant gets double teamed. Here's Ibaka. And that basket's going to count, folks. Gets the goaltending call right there. Almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. Alex Lenz checked in for Anderson. Going away, but comes in for Hansberg. And Brooks subbed in for Eric Bledsoe. The Thunder also changing it up. Steven Adams, he's checked in for Ennis Kinter. And it's Henderson for Williams. It's Durant on the wing. Len grabs the board. The Suns leading. Brooks kicks to Freak. Back to Brooks. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Villanueva with the bucket. Not too much respect shown to him by the defenders. Thunder have gone just a bit under 50% from the field since halftime. Five out of 11. Here's Durant. Booker pulls it in. Booker's got three rebounds so far in the game. It just hasn't been a very good day for him, guys. They need him to start burying some of those. Here's Brooks. Thunder with the rebound. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. That's in, and the Suns' lead is cut down to two on the bucket from Henderson. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. You're right, Clark. Just continue to pound it in the paint and get those easy points inside. All the officials are all over that. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give them any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without fouls. 
group substitution here for Phoenix. Tyson Chandler is checked in for Len. Mirza Toledovich comes in for Charlie Villanueva. Cruz, he's checked in for Booker. And it's Eric Bledsoe in for Brooks. The Thunder also changing it up. Ennis Canner's checked in for Steven Adams. Baca comes in for McGarry. And it's Waiters in for Gerald Henderson. Cruz, he's in at shooting guard. Warren is out there with Mirza Toledovich. And it's Chandler. And it's Bledsoe in at the point. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Westbrook with the steal. You know, that turnover right there isn't typical of the performance he's turned in today. In fact, that's his only turnover of the game. He's done a really good job taking care of the ball. Here's Cantor. And he gets it to go. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. It's all about imposing your will offensively, getting exactly the kind of looks that coach grew up. That's leadership. Really, really valuable to have someone who can just take charge like he has. Well, there's a certain amount of confidence you have when the ball is in his hands at that end of the floor right now. I mean, he just gives you a sense of calm and confidence because of how good he is. Bloods are with him. Westbrook picks him up. Cruz, the pass to Bloodsoe. Six on the shot clock, and the dunk by Chandler. Kevin, I tell you what, when he gets to the rim like that, he's really hard to stop. Yeah, he can get up uh, a few notches higher, there's no doubt. <laughs> and, and that's how the game is played on the inside. You can play over the top. You've got a great advantage. Now here's Waiters. He's covered closely. Westbrook kicks to Cantor. And there's the foul. It goes on Serge Ibaka. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Suns leading by six. Chandler with the screen on Westbrook. Chandler goes in. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Can you believe the job they're doing at the foul line since halftime? I mean, they've been perfect so far. Yeah, as cool as can be, Clark. Great focus and efficiency. That's how they built this lead. Wow, this game just a commanding performance for Chandler. He's got eight points and also a block shot. Thunder trailing by eight. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. they got to find something. You're right. You know, he was a non-factor in that first half, but now he's making up for lost time. Chandler with a screen for Bledsoe. To the middle, off the screen, and a dunk by Chandler. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. There's a screen by Cantor. Durant for three, and it's Freak with the rebound. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. Toledovic, again, Phoenix. Excellent ball movement there, guys. And that's keyed this run, passing it with purpose. The D hasn't been able to keep up. All right, Phoenix, keep going. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Yes, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Billy Donovan as he addressed his team. So guys, for a team with our firepower, we're playing way too tight. We need to push the ball up the floor, get out in transition, and get those easy baskets. We can do this. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for them here in this quarter in terms of scoring. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Here's Cantor. Uses both hands to slam it down. Just too dominant in the low post to let him have the ball in that close. Real, really simple opportunity for him. I mean, that's his bread and butter there. And that's really the change in our game. It's the overall athletic ability. I love those point guards that can throw it down. Well, you talked about that. That's a dose of the modern NBA, Greg. That, that, that kind of aerial ability isn't limited now to just the front court anymore. That's exactly right. You know, I look at it this way, guys. It seems to me there are more high flyers at guard than anywhere else in the league these days. Here's Waiters. Second shot opportunity, and the layup is up and in. Uh, how about the perseverance there, the extra effort on that offensive glass? Guys, a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, I agree. Got to use some clock here. Toledovic dishes to Freak. And not a good shot for him. They can get better looks than that. He just has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it hasn't affected them too much. 
Tell you what, he's not an easy guy to stop when he's got his sight on the rim. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Did he just go chop chop there and put that one hand tomahawk slam? This is where their depth becomes such an asset, Kevin. He's going for the remainder of the game, but fortunately, they're able to field a very capable replacement. Mitch McGarry's checked in for Ennis Cantor. And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. It's going to take something special for them to come back now. Well, I would say something special and some luck as well, or good fortune, however you want to phrase it. You know, the defense was lax right there, and he's able to make them pay. We can probably expect to see him slow it down now. Yeah, you got the lead. Burn some clock here. Smart move. Yep. And out of bounds is the Thunder game to take that. So it's the Suns taking the W in a close one. Backs against the wall, Greg, but they showed us tonight they are not done. <laughs> you can just never count this group out. I mean, unlike. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. And now let's move on to the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Eric Bledsoe. He was dead on from the field tonight, guys. I'd call his performance economical because there was no wasted opportunities. He took advantage of... And we are still early in the postseason. There's more round one action of the NBA play. 